and then you'll catch what he's talking about and think, it's really weird I'm bobbing my head to this. Subscribe, yeah, subscribe. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Brews and Reviews. It's Knowledge, and today I'm reviewing Homeboy Sandman's Angelitu, and I am sipping on an Abita Brewing Company PB and Jams. That is a 7% beer coming in from Louisiana, and this is definitely an original and quirky flavor for a beer so let's get into this original and quirky artist homeboy sandman let's go homeboy sandman angelito stop Sleeping on the homeboy. If you get that for anyone who likes originality, creativity, underground stuff that you haven't heard before, you should be listening to Homeboy Sandman. He is completely his own MC and a refreshing, unique voice in the game. That being said, though, my fandom with him goes off and on because sometimes he's just a little too off kilter. Sometimes you have to question if he's really making something for the aesthetic of the listeners enjoying it or if he's just making something just to be original. Sometimes his flow is so non-standard that I just can't listen and at other times I'm digging the flow and the lyrics so much and the originality I'm just like this is better than anything. I pretty much dug all the tracks on The Good Son and First of a Living Breed but every album release after that there seemed to be fewer and fewer songs that I could really groove to that that being said, what he's done this year is phenomenal already. What he did on Bushido, the Mellow Music Group compilation, he had some of the standout tracks on that that were just incredible. And then with this EP, it sets a whole other standard where I'm going to have to start checking for him again. And it does help that this EP is entirely produced by Aesop Rock. Aesop is his partner in rhyme. They are collectively known as Lice. And the beats that he provides here are a continuation of his upbeat, intricately layered beats that he did for himself on last year's Spirit World Field Guide. Regarding the title of this, Homeboy Sandman said, My mother and lots of my relatives used to call me Angelito, Little Angel. The Tajutu is the symbol for yin and yang, opposites that make a whole. Given the dualistic, dualistic nature of the songs on the record, put it all together and what do you get? Angelutu. Go hard. One reason that I lost interest in Homeboy Sandman at times is because it felt like his flow got too off kilter, too off beat, a little too abstract to be pleasing to the ears, but you can hear from the opening bars that Aesop's production is doing wonders for his flow. So instead of trying to be so different that it actually hurts the sound, here we got six verses of doing exactly what the title suggests with a flow so rhythmic that you could actually bob your head without the beat here. Lyrically, this also goes hard with more jewels per verse than any EP that I've heard heard recently. I will not be able to quote all the quotables on this album, but I will start with what he says here. He says, every morning I ignore warnings of all kinds. So if you're looking for the norm, you've got the wrong guy. If you're looking for a fad, you've got the wrong lad. And if you're looking for the same, you caught the wrong train. If you're looking for a hack, I'll never write back. But if you're looking for the champ, you found the right chap. And if you're looking for the ace, you're in the right place. He's the producer of the track, so you're on the right track. West Coast, crazy, mid-level, bass-driven track from Aesop. To be honest, I don't know what the hell Homeboy Sandman is talking about on this track. It sounds very abstract, violent, almost like he's tripping, but I still love the words and imagery. Some of the abstract lines that I think I actually get 
are Sharpie for tagging up my new force field. Inside my beard, I got a three course meal. Inside my pad, I got a tube that's got 2,000 different channels on demand. Beside the shelf, I keep the pebble that I snatch from out your hand. The force field is the solo task of writing. He's got to put himself in a shelter where no one can get to him so he can be at his creative height. The meals in his beard is his mouth. He's going to feed himself with the rhymes that he can spit. And the 2,000 different channels are all the different ideas and concepts that he can come up with to rhyme about. It's also really dope on this track called West Coast, how he references some great West Coast tracks. We got Hand on the Pump from Cypress Hill. And I hope everybody recognizes the la da 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 from Hail. Mary by Tupac and the way he presents them in this verse is almost like he's listening to these tracks while drifting off into his writing or his creative zone getting a little bit lost and he just calls back to the hook it brings him back to reality for a moment I can definitely relate to that FYI we got a dope guitar riff and strumming over some live sounding drums and this is definitely in the stream of conversation consciousness non sequitur style of rhyme that homeboy sans can be known for one of my favorite tracks that he has in that style is sputnik and you can feel that same kind of essence from the opening bars on this track he says Whole wheat hoagie low key og brown skin emoji more rocking than a hit from bon jovi cow's milk insane drum work on this and this definitely had to be produced during the spirit world field guide sessions i could definitely see this track at home on that but i'm glad that ace saved it for homeboy sandman because the lyrics are so quirky that you'll be bobbing your head to this before even understanding what he's talking about and then you'll catch what he's talking about and think it's really weird I'm bobbing my head to this but then you'll still keep doing it because that's how hard this track is that's right the chorus to this is and I drink cow's milk milk from cows I know I'm not like a baby cow in any way I drink cow's milk anyway the outro emphasizes the point even more. Love it or hate it, no one can say that Homeboy Sandman's not original. And these lyrics are put in context even more as we get to the next track. No beef. First off, the sample, you gotta recognize this is Slick Rick on Lottie Dottie, a classic from the 80s. I've noticed a lot of the young rap fans, they will be, dig back into a lot of the 90s rap and they respect that and that's cool, but don't neglect the 80s. I grew up on 90s rap, but I dug back and this is an all-time hip-hop classic that's sampled here. I got to see Slick Rick a few years back in concert, so I crossed that off the bucket list. And I've heard a few lines about vegetarianism in rap, but I gotta say, this is the first all-out in-depth essay that I've actually heard on the subject. Seriously, this is so persuasive that I actually think about these lyrics every time I've eaten a hamburger or steak since it dropped. Homeboy Sandman is actually anticipating counter arguments and addressing them before somebody can even say them. That's a good argumentative technique that he's employing with his rhymes here. He says, I know you're thinking why you speak and no one even asked you, but that's nowhere near as bad as killing bings when you don't have to. They pump them full of hormones. It's horrible. You're poisoning your spirit. If it weren't for the seasoning, you'd never go near it. And he goes on with more points. You can't even argue with his realism. He says, it's been said that everyone be vegan if slaughterhouses were made of glass, but I'm afraid the reason for it is even more sordid. Slaughterhouses are made of cash. Definitely a highlight lyrically for the year. Might be a contender for lyrics of the year for sure. Lice Team Baby, and we got a full display of skill from the affiliates. Homeboy kicks it off with a bit of a tongue twister. He says, no, I got a cow song, then I got a plant song. Before I sing my swan song, I'ma swing a hacksaw. And a hacksaw is the best way to describe his and Ace's 
flow here, but at the same time, you can really feel the chemistry and see how they're feeding off each other and just having fun with this track. Ace comes in with an impeccable flow and trademark off-key humor. He says, I am too impatient to rope a dope. I'm more go for the bozo nose and ghost. The boys slick like three kids stacked in an overcoat at a 21 and over show. You got Ace on beats, Sands on rhymes, Ace on rhymes too. This feels like so much more than 18 minutes. You got more rhymes per verse than a lot of albums that I've heard recently. Aesop Rock is in top form as a producer, and Boy Sands feels inspired by the beats. More sustained energy than I've heard from him in a long while. Lyrically interesting and original in every single track. As an EP, I'm giving this a five out of a six pack. Thank you for watching my review of Homeboy Sandman's Angelitu. If you like this, go ahead and hit like now and hit me up in the comments. If you didn't like it, also let me know why in the comments. I drop hip hop and hop related content consistently, so subscribe to my channel now. And until I see you next time, keep buzzing. If he's on his channel saying that somebody album is better than mine, unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> no, your, your album's the best. Man. There you go. Subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe.